make sure you tune into Dominion TV every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Download the app. You can get it on Roku and Apple and get ready for an awesome kingdom time. We're empowering young women and women to be the best that God has purposed them to be. Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the Evolve with Shauna Marie Show. Listen, thank you so much for tuning in. I have an amazing show today. Oh, my goodness. With this mighty, mighty, mighty woman of God. So powerful, so amazing, so loving. Miss Lady Latron, Miss Daniel, <laughs> how yes, are you? I'm doing wonderful, doing wonderful, doing wonderful. How about you? I am awesome. Good. Listen, thank you so much for being a guest. I am so excited to hear about your testimony, to hear about, um, you know, how you are bossing it. Because you know, you know you're a boss, right? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, <laughs> no, just a whole lot. Like, All right, I'll take it. Yes, I'll take it. Being, I'll take it. Being a being a mother, being a wife, um, being a first lady, being in the hair industry as a hair professional and stylist for twenty something plus years, y'all. That's a boss. Yeah, I that's think a boss. That's a boss. Yeah. 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 That's Sums it up. <laughs> like check, boss. That's yes, me. Yes, that's me. I love that because we think about our topic for, and our theme for this month is, of course, evolving with God. And I want to kind of go through that that process of, because we weren't always saved. That's right. We weren't always in the church. We weren't always sha na na ro bo bo. We, we weren't always doing right. that. So, what was your process in God drawing you to Him? Um, it started for me. Um, as a little girl, I'm a PK, um, so being in church all the time was always just a, it was like a routine thing. Um, and so that's what I grew up thinking I was supposed to do because mom and dad said, this is what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then as I grew older, I started to sway my own way. Um, and swaying my own way taught me a lot. Um, and then you fast forward to adulthood. Um, again, you go back to train up a child in the way mm -hmm. and they shall never part. And certainly I went my own way and I right. did what I wanted to do. Um, and if it seemed like it was the right thing to do, I did the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. um, so when I did the wrong thing, of course, I had the repercussions that followed that. Mm -hmm. um, and I always would get kicked in the back um, because God would say, that's not what I, I that's not the plan I have for you. Um, so that's kind of, you know, my love for God never left. It was just like a father is to his daughter. Mm -hmm. Um, I had to go return back to my first love who was God. Yes. Um, and once I knew that without God, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. So with him, I can do all things. Yes. With, and that's, that's the thing that people have to really catch. Um, I love what you said, you know, you did go off some. Mm hmm but God loves us so much that he pulls us right on pulls back. Pulls us right back in. We're not condemned, mm -hmm. right? He's not, you know, I love He doesn't that. judge us. Oh, you bet. Mm, he doesn't judge us. And what I loved about my, my struggle with that is I still wanted to church, but I wanted to, I wanted to be saved and church, and I wanted to club, and I wanted to do it all, yeah. and I didn't want to be judged. So I had to yes. figure out how do I balance the two. Uh. Um, and then you have the mothers of the church that are saying, you know that is not of God. And then you got yeah. the other ones that says, well, who was that to judge? So on the back end, I had to say, well, wow. this is my relationship and my walk with God. So right. I'm going to do what I can do that's pleasing to God. Yes, yes. And he didn't condemn you. He didn't judge he you. Did he not. didn't critique you. He has that that endless, that overwhelming, reckless love for us where we can, you know, you could have sinned yesterday. Mm -hmm. And today he's like, reset button, yeah. new grace, new mercy. Yeah, like, brand new day. I love you. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I love you enough to listen. I'm still going to accept. I'm still going to love. I'm still going to mm -hmm. bless. Because we'll believe that. Like, we've been in so much sin. We've done so many things. I will go, well, is God still going to bless me? Or mm -hmm. because of what I'm going through, mm -hmm. is it because I messed up? Mm -hmm. Is it because I sinned? Well, God knew that we were going to mess up. He already knew what I was going to yes. do before I did it. So um, the struggle in that was just finding myself. 
mm -hmm. um, and not following my mother's prayer. Yes. I had to find my own prayer life, mm -hmm. my grandmother's prayer. I couldn't go off of that anymore. I had to start right. going off of my own prayer life. Yes. And then I became a single mother and just raising my son at the time, you know, it was right. one of those difficult things. And a lot of mothers go through it and they think once they reach that, that, that that's it, the world is over, you know, I, I had a baby out of wedlock and my life yes. is over, but God is saying, no, this is how I'm trusting you as a mother because with the, with a child, I can grow you more. Yes. And he did that. And he did just that. Just that. And did an awesome job. Yes, he did. <laughs> I turned Won't out all right. It? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Yes. Listen, how how do you, because there are many women that are trying to find that balance between I got to be a wife, I got to be a mother, especially first ladies, mm -hmm. um, having that responsibility, you know, a, a business owner or a career woman. How did you find that balance between all of those? It was it was it was tough at first because right. um, I was a PK, so certainly I never thought that I would be a pastor's wife. <laughs> Um, so it was, it was, it was certainly, uh, it was like this, you know, yeah. and I would struggle, you know, with it with, and then, you know, we became a blended family. Yes. Um, so the way I balanced it and the way I had to, what worked for me, um, was I had to remember first and foremost that I'm his wife first. Um, the people have made me the pastor's wife mm. and the first lady. Um, I'm still his wife. So I remain yes. his wife at all times. Yes. Um, I right. honor him. I love him. I walk beside him and not behind him. I got his back, um, but I'm walking beside him. Um, my children, you know, we teach them to honor dad, yes. honor mom. Yes. Um, and even though they do their own things, we still pray for them and we keep moving. Yes. With the hair business, it's the same thing. Church, God comes before it all. Um, but I managed um, after, uh, we're coming up on what, 10 years here, I think now. Um, so with all of that, we have managed to make it work. Yes. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a stress. Yes. Um, we're in this COVID season right now, yes. so things have kind of what I thought eased off for me, but it picked up for him. Right. Um, so the balance we've had to try to just balance the two and just make yes. it work. But we yes. we we do it. We're we're a dynamic team, so we make it work. Um, it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. I have to talk about this because you have this experience. Mm -hmm. This live love laugh experience that mm -hmm. I had an opportunity to not go to just <laughs> I, I had opportunity to experience it like I never seen someone operate was it with such excellence mm -hmm. with such an honor for God such a love for serving women and serving people I want you to talk I want you to talk about that live <laughs> love laugh experience because I know how it blessed me wow how it catapulted me and i know it will bless other women and young girls um sure um shauna live love laugh experience it really birthed out of me just doing regular women's conferences at the wow. church and I, I after like i think it was my second one um i felt god a tugging on me mm. um and but the tug wasn't for me to remain in the church the tug was for wow. me to take Live Love Laugh experience outside of the walls of the church, which is who we are supposed to be anyway. Um, and I have a love for women. Um, and there's a love for women. I love to see women smile. I yes. love to see women enjoy <laughs> life. Um, I love to have fun. I always get the comment, you're a pastor's wife. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I and I respond by saying, yeah, I mean, you know, just because I'm a pastor's wife doesn't mean I got to walk around with a Bible, to, you know, quoting scripture. Right. Um, certainly that's not me. Um, but on the flip side to that live, love, laugh experience was birthed of that. And when I, I, I struggled with it and I, I kind of went back and forth with God that I know that you're yeah. not putting somebody like me <laughs> to lead women. I know, God, I know this, this is not what you're doing. Wow. But but if you say so, God, you know, I'm going right. to follow it. So I went to my husband and my husband and I, we prayed through it. And here we are. Um, here we are today, three years in. And it's truly um, an experience. I don't like to call it a women's mm. conference mm -mm. because that's not what it is. It is truly an experience. I want people to experience what it's like to live, love and laugh yes. because you can do all of those things and wow. still love the Lord. You can still have a good time and listen to secular music and still love the Lord. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, we believe in educating and empowering yes. and just 
showing women what it's like to engage God, but still engage your sister, lift your sister up, don't put your foot on her neck. Yes. Um, be able to look to her and say, you're just beautiful. I love you, you're so beautiful. Um, and there's really not any animosity behind that. Yes. There's no, I think the young people call it now, there's no cap. Yeah, you no know, cap. No <laughs> cap, you know. No cap. Um, so I really, you know, and a lot of people, they just they just can't kind of, I think it's, it's kind of hard for a lot of them to yeah. balance me being a first lady because I think I, I am just mad cool like that. <laughs> I think I'm just that cool, you know. You're um, just that cool. I'm just that cool. <laughs> um, I don't like to be called first lady because I just right. feel that I am his wife. Um, and I just, you know, I walk beside him and I just believe in women, in women winning. I, yes. uh, there's, th women can win. We, uh, we can all win. In the hair yes. business, I always um, encourage my other um, partners in the hair salon that there's enough money for everybody. Uh. You know, um, and we just have to encourage each other and empower yes. each other and love each other enough Absolutely. as much as the Lord has loved us. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that is amazing. I'm saying I experienced for myself and it was it was life changing it, it, for, for everybody that was there. I want you to tell everybody how they can experience this live love laugh experience how do they register where do they go how do you register you could go on to our live love laugh experience um facebook page and there's a link there that will send you to our live love laugh experience yes. 18 website and there you can find all the information that you need this year we will be um, hosting in hilton head south carolina yes. and yours truly will be there with our crunk cardio um, and yeah, to get all the way crunk um, the ladies are super excited, and that is October the 2nd through the 4th. And any yes. other information, look me up on my Facebook page, Latron McDaniel. We'll, you can inbox me, DM me, yes. whatever you need to do, Instagram. You can find us at Live Love Laugh Experience. I love it. Listen, if you are a lady, a young girl, what's, what's the ages? We don't discriminate. See that? You don't, she doesn't discriminate. We don't so discriminate. So no matter if you've got a daughter, if you're a, a woman, I don't care if you're 60, you're 21, you're five, listen, you can experience this live, love, laugh experience. Did you hear what she said? It's about you being in God and you can still live. Mm -hmm. You can still love. Mm -hmm. You can still laugh. You can still have fun. I have found that Jesus is really fun. He is fun, I promise you. And if you wanna see hilarious, what? go to church. What? <laughs> If you want to laugh, my husband said that one Sunday. He was preaching that. Yeah, you want to see some funny things? Go to church. I tell you, it happens. But I do. I want all women to know yes. and join us in that movement of living, loving, and laughing. Yes. Because I promise you, the more you live, the more you will grow to love, yes. and the more you will laugh. And uh, laughing will make you feel so much better. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. I just, listen, I've been laughing a whole lot. A whole lot. Yes. Like my parents talk about a good, a good, a good laugh. Yeah, like, whoa. Will you cry laugh? Bah! Like that laugh. <laughs> I've been having that laugh. Like, I'm saying, it's a joy that you yes, just, yes. like, can't explain. It's indescribable. Yes. So, I thank you. I thank you. thank you. I thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing your gift. Thank Bless you for sharing, you know, your purpose and what you were anointed to do. It has really helped so many women. I pray that it continue, continue to help women, to serve them, to heal them, to deliver them. Listen, women got free at that conference last year, that, at that Lord. experience last year. Praise the Lord. Free. We experienced it. So I want to thank you for sharing. Make sure that you find her on Facebook. Lady Latron McDaniel, find her, LiveLoveLaughExperience.com. Mm -hmm. Go register. It's going to be in Hilton Head October the 2nd through the 4th. You do not want to miss this. Listen, I'm glad that you have tuned in. Oh, my goodness. It's going down next week, y'all. It's going down with Jazz Rosales. We're continuing to evolve with God. Make sure you tune in on Wednesday at 8 30 p.m. Shout out to my Evolve Dream Team. I'm going to tell you every single Wednesday to do what? By now, y'all should have it. Shine your light and be the salt. Right. So I need you to every single day of your life do what? Shine, shine, sprinkle, sprinkle. Listen, God loves you. I love you. And there is nothing that you can do about it. Be blessed, be bold, be beautiful.
sure you tune into Dominion TV every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Download the app. You can get it on Roku and Apple and get ready for an awesome kingdom time. We're empowering young women and women to be the best that God has purposed them to be.